This is the uh, the first opportunity for consumers to finally take out the K900, which is the new flagship car from Kia, full luxury sedan. Um, you're looking obviously at the gasoline direct injected V8 engine, 420 horsepower, 376 uh, torque on it as well. So um, I don't really know what else you want me to say about the engine. <laughs> okay, how about the exterior? Exterior. Obviously, you can see we have here, we have the LED accent headlights right here. You obviously can see the accents right in this general region. We have this, obviously, signature grill now to the Kia line, which the whole car was stuff was designed, you know, by, uh, by Peter Schreier and the team. We did, have, uh, we did take from Audi to begin with back in 2006. Got our rear, or our front, um, our front camera right here, which I'll show you yep. when we get inside. There is a 360 uh, view, surround view that we have of the car. So this is definitely a luxury car Correct. IKEA. Correct. For those who don't know yet. Right. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. What so, else the features has on the outside we can talk about? Yeah. Well, you know, it's going to come standard with 19-inch uh, alloy wheels. As you walk around, obviously we have the uh, the indicators here on the side of the mirrors, auto dimming mirrors too. Which we'll look inside. We have the uh, blind spot monitoring symbol there as well. One of the cool features I like is the soft lock doors so as opposed to slamming the door shut you can actually just put it right here close it right for you so you know one of the big things with this car is the uh, is the just how quiet the vehicle is and so when you have more of a vacuum shut you know soft close you know to the doors it's going to help obviously keep that down I think they're actually they uh, there's 200 different points throughout the car that they've actually put like sound deadening material as well so as you wrap back around as well um, you know, of course, we're going to have a rear backup camera. We do have the uh, auto trunk release. Yeah, and it's quite a bit of cargo here. Plenty of cargo room. And then it's the one touch for that to come on back as well. Uh, dual exhaust. And obviously, if you notice too, we have the chrome accents. You know, here on the side as well. All right. Yeah. So quick little. Let's go for a drive. All right. All right. All right. Now we're going to uh, finally take the car out on a drive here in lovely, sunny, but cold Atlanta. But not too windy, unlike no. last year. Right. Exactly. So we have the shift by wire uh, shifter knob here. If you notice, P for park. Just press this. Pull on down into drive, and we'll uh, cruise on forward. Sharp turning radius, I believe it's a 37.5. Extremely yeah, quiet, can... like a recording studio. Exactly, exactly. And you'll notice too, we won't actually turn the music on now, but you know, to really get that luxury feel, you know, it's important to, you know, obviously have the least amount of noise possible in these vehicles. And like I think I mentioned outside, about 200 different points that they actually have some sound deadening material to really create that sound. But we, even with the speaker system, it's a 17 speaker Lexicon audio system. It's the same kind of audio system you're gonna find in a Phantom Rolls Royce. Um, Lexicon is a, uh, it's a company that specializes in home theater. So it's really all about acoustics and designed accordingly, you know, for this particular vehicle. I think we can turn it on for like five seconds. Okay. Oh, Don't yes. know if that's the music of choice, but however, yeah, this but gives you a little bit of a taste. Illustrates the right. quality very well. Correct. So there's just a ton of stuff to talk about in this car. I mean, for the fact that you have a vehicle that is about sixty thousand dollars, you know, this car with delivery and everything, as you see it loaded out with the VIP package, is sixty-six thousand dollars. And of course, and uh, the sunroom and the moonroof. You get right. You get the dual so, pane sunroof vector. Now the back is actually going to be fixed. You know, it's more of a moonroof, but this will actually slide back as well. Now, plenty of things to talk about. From a safety standpoint, this is going to have the blind spot monitoring, which the great thing about blind spot monitoring is, you know, when anybody's in your blind spot, it's going to give you the visual warning signal on the side view mirror. And also there is auto dim on the rear view mirror. Correct. There's auto dim as well. Now, 
we have the heads up display, which is going to be actually right in the mirror. It's all about safety. It's all about keeping your eyes on the road. So quite often camera won't pick it up, but you know, viewers have to believe us. Right, exactly. So you can't actually see it, but I personally can see it right here. You know, even with the polarized sunglasses on, if I had those, you can't see it as well, but you can definitely see the speedometer. But other things that will pop up there, and you have options to decide what you want to put up in the heads up display. Uh, for blind spot monitoring, you will still get that visual warning signal that you see on the side view mirrors. You'll see those in the heads up display. Um, also, this, your guidance, your GPS. And this route is really bad, and <laughs> this car takes it, it takes like, it like, like a, like a <laughs> Hoover. Right. Yeah, great suspension, which you're going to find, obviously, in a, in a luxury vehicle. And, but going back to the blind spot monitoring, you know, you won't, only, you, um, you won't get an audible warning signal unless you indicate a lane change. So if you're telling the K900, like, my intended path is to run into the car next to me, that's when the K900 wants to let you know, like, hey, gives you an audible warning signal, don't turn into it. You also get this smart cruise control as well, which it's all about maintaining a safe distance between you and the car in front of you. So, like... Normal cruise control, you can be on setting it, you can be on the highway and you can set it accordingly. Where, like I said, it's all about maintaining the safe distance between you and the car in front of you. So when they slow down, you slow down. When they speed up, you speed up. You also have lane departure warning system as well. Which, so if you're going a specific dis, um, sorry, one second here as I'm driving, making sure we're safe. If you start to veer out of your lane, the car is going to recognize maybe you're a little bit fatigued. You should probably pull over and get some coffee. Now, it doesn't tell you to go get coffee, but it will give you that audible warning signal as well to let you know that you need to stay in your lane. So I guess the viewers of my YouTube channel may expect a review of this car uh, in a real uh, prolonged driving condition anytime soon. Uh, definitely a brand new car for this year from Kia. So it's going to be big interest around it. Luxury car. Uh, and also, I think as a kind of a humor part, it's called K9 in Korea, but it will be called K9 in US, people will be laughing, so it's, that's why it's called K900 here in US. <laughs> Funny stuff. And also, there is that convenience, there is like a few parts, you know, memory seat to make everybody extremely yep. comfortable. It's Heated, is it just heated or heated cool? and heated and ventilated? So, okay. three stage heated and ventilated in the front and also in the back as well. So, all the 16 passes. stage uh, adjustable seats as well. We can actually adjust the headrest, which is a nice feature. You know, if you have Shaquille O'Neal or if you have Spud Webb, it just depends on who's in the car. Uh -huh. yeah, you want to be able to adjust it accordingly, yeah, especially with Shaquille O'Neal. Okay. Uh, you can swim across Chattahoochee River just in his shoes. <laughs> I think one of the things to point out as well is that you have the 9.2 inch LCD screen here too. It's not touch screen like the rest of the uh, screens in the Kia lineup. It's actually all down here by the little swivel knob, which makes things I think very intuitive. And also it's a lot safer. So it's all about keeping your eyes on the road, being able to navigate around, um, you know, through your GPS, your map, your phone, um, through the UVO system. And everything else as well. You have a snow mode, there's different driving modes. You have an eco mode, a snow mode. Um, you also have a sport mode. So for instance, like the snow mode, for you people who are driving in snow, what it does is it's gonna start the car off in a lower um, in a lower gear. So it's all about trying to take some of the torque away. So you know you don't want to be in a snowy conditions or a snowy type condition uh, where your tires start spinning too much. So it maybe starts off in like second gear as opposed to first gear. But that's just a little bit of a, uh, a rundown. There's so much to talk about in this car. So people uh, should uh, go to a nearest Kia dealership and take it for a spin. I agree. See what it's all about. See what all the fuss is about. Okay, great. Thank you. All right, thank you.